Hey guys, and welcome back to the Leftovers channel. And kind of sadly, my last Mighty Max Doom Zone review unless I choose to go back and revisit them. But we've been reviewing Mighty Max play sets for years and years and years. And I'm finally down to the last Doom Zone. Um, so it's a little bit bittersweet. Um, it's a toy line that I loved as a kid. And I had so many different play sets at different times. It's been a really fun journey for me to, I guess, reclaim the ones that I had as a kid and enjoy exploring them again. And also discovering some new ones along the way that I missed when I was a kid because some were definitely easier to get than others. What I have for the last review on the Mighty Max Doom Zones. I do hope there's more Mighty Max reviews in the future, but... So Mighty Max Traps Radis comes from the third wave of Doom Zones that were released. Uh, as a kid, I had the Zombie Hand, um, and that was my absolute favorite as a kid. I took it everywhere I could. I kept trying to prank people that it was a real hand, but I had a lot of time with that particular playset. It's an absolute favorite of mine. And it was really cool to discover as I was uh, collecting more and more of these figures, just how much they pushed the Mighty Max playset for series three with sets like Cyber Skull and the Nautilus Sea Snail, as well as, if you give me a second, I will quickly look up Squish's Fly, which has, again, that was a really cool one to discover. Lash's Lizard as well, like all of the series three play sets, um, I think are really cool. And what we have here with Radis is a rat slash sewer themed playset. The outside of the head looks really um, cool as well. Uh, I would have probably liked to see a bit more definition for the rat head, like looking at it at a distance, it um, like it looks cool, but when you start getting like closer up, I just wish there was a bit more like definition around the eyes, but they definitely made them look small and beady, these giant ears sticking out. Like what they did manage to do was bring a lot of color and detail. Um, you've got the purple nose, the white teeth, the gray fur, the red eyes, the pink ears, and a bit of brown sticking out the back. So in terms of like the Mighty Max line, I really like how they've like chosen to color this particular one. And yeah, the, the detail itself looks really good. You get a, like a slight glimpse inside the playset through the teeth on the side, as well as the big scar sitting on the top of Rattus's head. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this one up. So inside we have three characters, including Mighty Max. Um, the nose turns into the spider arachnid that Rattus uses as a bit of a minion. And then we get the Rattus figure himself, which looks um, just cool and menacing. He's a bit like an evil version of Splinter uh, from the Ninja Turtles. Uh, on the bottom of the playset, we also have a vehicle. So Radis has been using this vehicle to spray poison throughout the sewers, um, polluting everything. So he's, he's not a good guy. He's a villain. He's out to destroy the world with pollution and just gross things. The vehicle itself is called the Sewer Plague Vehicle. And in the playset itself on the bottom, we obviously have this great sewer theme, like all set out. We have a sticker showing the toxic waste and the barrels and the pipes. We have a whole bunch of rats, which you need to have rats in like the raddest playset, obviously. And like these rats are massive and they just like hands reaching out from all different areas of the sculpt, which is really cool. What there isn't though, is a whole lot of stuff on the bottom of the sculpt. A lot of the set is located in the top half. Um, we have this, like the cage takes up the bulk of this playset and the um, controls that Radis uses where he traps 
Mighty Max in the comic series. So once Mighty Max gets teleported into the sewers to face Radis, Radis locks him up in a cage um, after sending Arachnid after him. And Mighty Max uses his slingshot to free himself from the cage, get to the sewer plague vehicle, destroy Arachnid, and then destroy Rattus. So, so yeah, the cage is like paramount in the comic and it creates like the largest play feature within the playset itself. There's two different movable floor sections, the control panel flips out, and there's even some really cool detail in the back of the cage here where you can see Arachnid's web. I'm also not sure why, but it appears that the ears can just like pop out. Right, hold up, hold up, hold up. I've discovered something while I was editing this episode. I was looking at the cartoon, like the, the comic panel for the Ratters playset, and I realized the ears do have a purpose. They actually form part of the sewer plague vehicle. So it's got like these shovel instruments on the front. Um, so that's what the ears are for. I worked it out. So I think what I really like about this playset is that the theme itself is really cool. Like you're trapped underground, it feels tight and claustrophobic. There are some great, you know, you have the barrels and the skeletons and the bones and the toxic waste everywhere. There's rats and then this sort of trap with an intricate control system where Radis captures Mighty Max and both Mighty Max and Radis fit into the trap and then can fall down again. Um, but there's so much sculpted detail here on the inside, uh, it kind of puts the outside to shame a little bit. And having a playset like this, which gives you so much space inside, but also gives you a vehicle, is uh, really cool as well. Uh, again, like I said, Series 3 had some amazing playsets, which I felt like they pushed the Mighty Max series to the next level. Like there was some really cool play sets from series three. This is obviously a great one, but it's probably not gonna be my favorite. I just think it's, it is a really cool sewer slash rat theme. And talking about sewer miniatures. And talking about sewer miniatures, if miniature sewer play sets is like really up your alley, I've also got this re the review of uh, Raphael here on the channel. It's the Turtle in a Turtle miniature play sets. So inside Raphael here, we actually have a miniature sewer where the turtles can practice their karate. Um, oopsie, there's so many small pieces with these sets. Um, so if you are keen to see some more miniature sewers uh, right here on the channel, go for it. So as most of the Mighty Max play sets did, um, it inspired an episode of the cartoon series. Um, and they really kind of, they didn't use the sewer part of the play set, but they definitely used the rat part. So an ancient emperor of rats, is that what they called him? Yeah, the ancient emperor of rats, Lao Chu. It is time. I, Mao Zhu, command you. Take the city. Drive out the human pestilence. Has been freed from his spiritual prison, possessing the body of the historian who freed him. Man, imagine being a boring historian looking at old stuff all the time and then getting accidentally possessed. That would be such a kick in the butt. But it's up to Mighty Max, Virgil and Norman to work out in ancient China the series of puzzles in his lair, um, get through the traps and basically survive long enough to break the curse and save the world from being overrun by rats. So yeah, like I said, it's it's not very sewery in terms of the episode, but it is very ancient chinery. So yeah, I don't know. It's um it's a good episode. It doesn't sort of match the place at a whole lot, but I do like like Mighty Max kind of tried to explore some really 
I think fun themes. Like as a kid, I remember loving the episodes and just, I guess if they stuck just to the play sets, they'd be very limited in terms of how they explore all these different play sets. But by being able to take inspiration and then expand on it and take it in different directions really gave them a lot of room to play for the cartoon series. So um, yeah, it was definitely a, fantastic play set they did a good job with the cartoon and oh what a way to finish the mighty max doom zones like i said this is the last one that i have left to review all the other reviews are right here on the channel um like I said, i've always really enjoyed the mighty max series i love like anything to do with monsters in general but then having these little play sets that you can open up and there's little worlds in there to play with um, that got me really excited as a kid and I had a whole lot of fun exploring rediscovering these play sets here on the channel and I really appreciate you guys tuning in and checking them out um, don't ever hesitate to leave a comment let me know about what you think about this play set if it's one you had as a kid um, your favorite features anything that I missed yeah just leave it all down there in the comments um, again like I said it's the last doom zone for me to review but I'm hoping to come back and have a look at some more of the deluxe play sets because there are so many Mighty Max play sets out there and some of the horror heads as well like there's a whole bunch of horror heads that I used to have as a kid that I'm just having a really hard time finding again so definitely stay tuned um, if you want to see high resolution images of any of the Mighty Max play sets that have been reviewed on this channel you can find them over on the website at leftovercultureview.com our link will be down below as well and thank you so much for coming on this wild journey with me through Mighty Max um, and until next time guys stay safe cheers